Cordell Prime presents Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class, Starscream. Now, Starscream from the movies, of course, he wants to be leader. The reason he wants to be leader is because he feels that Megatron, and for some reason Optimus Prime, I don't know why he cares what Prime is doing, have strayed away from their path of leadership to pursue their own agenda. He feels for the sake of the species that he should be the leader. He does, I believe he does become leader when Megatron is killed in the first film. So, basically, he be actually becomes that of which he despised, which is, he strayed away from his path of leadership to pursue his own agenda. Now, according to the Transformers Wiki, which is where I'm getting most of my information from, Megatron, he prefer, as opposed to Megatron's brute force, Starscream prefers deception and subtlety. Where, to sum it up for you, Starscream, if he wanted to kill you without raising attention, he'd stab you in the back with a knife when you weren't looking. Megatron would just blow your head off with his big old cannon, and then cause a lot of attention. So that's really it on Starscream's bio. Don't get mad at me if, it, if you find it incorrect. I got it from Transformers Wiki. Transformers Wikipedia. I got it from there, so don't send me any hate mail. Alright? Please. <laughs> So, here's Starscream's Dark of the Moon figure. He is, of course, a deluxe class. He does have the signature markings, or tattoos, as they've been dubbed, that Starscream is known for. It even has this nice little Decepticon symbol here, and this one symbol here that I have no clue what it is. If anyone knows, please leave a comment. It's a nice looking vehicle mode. He does have landing gear, which it's all molded, so like Power Glide, if he tries to land, He's going to kill himself. He does, of course, have some robot junk. Now, it's cleverly hidden. Back here, you've got his legs. Got here, here you got his crotch, and here you got his arms. The way they're all folded up, you can't really tell, which is really awesome. Now, he does have his mech tech weapons here. Well, this is his mech tech weapon. But he has these two weapons that can peg in under him. One end has machine guns. So basically, if he wants, he can just fly in and shoot. Or, he's got blades, where he can just come in and stab you. They can rotate, so you can do that, but the thing is, if he goes with the blades, he's most likely going to tear his wing off and basically, basically going to end up killing himself. Which isn't going to... It isn't going to work well for Starscream. One really cool detail that I just really love, is if you look here in the cockpit, they actually have a molded seat and stuff like that in there. It's real. That's really nice. I really do like that. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that though. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So that's basically it for Starscream's vehicle mode in terms of a size comparison. However, here he's next to Electrostatic Jolt. Now I'm not sure the actual scale for the F-22 Raptor and Chevy Volt, but I don't really think that the I don't really think that this is the actual scale, though, for the actual um, vehicles themselves. I think where this is a jet, it should be a bit bigger. I'm not exactly sure on that. I haven't seen either of these in real life, so I can't really compare them, but there's the comparison. And with that said, let's transform him. First, you want to remove his um, weapons. Let's get rid of those. Flip up his landing gear. There's a reason why it's only molded in. Well, next next you want to do is... You see his wings right here? They're level. You want to actually bring those up. <sighs> like that. They're like this, originally. You bring them up like that. With that done, you want to um, take his entire back section and unpeg it. It's on a double joint. This joint here is really easy to move, no problem. This other joint down here is really tight. So, you're going to have to end up forcing it. Take the tail fins and flip them down for now. We're coming down to his legs, where, um... Hold on, I have to fix them with my camera. Where you fold them out. Like that. With that done, you want to fold them down. Now, they are jointed here and here. So you can get the signature Starscream Crazy Legs that he has been known for. Now, with that done, we're coming up to his arms. Extend his arms outward, like this, and swing them on up. Fold them out, 
rotate him down, flip out his hands, and straighten his arm. As in, fold it in. Alright, we're almost finished here. With that done, you want to take this piece here, this one piece below the cockpit, and flip it all the way up. Take his crotch and flip it all the way down. Now, when you take it and you fold it down, his head's going to come up. Now, he actually has a rubber tip to the nose cone. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's rubber. It's rubber, so it gives a lot more clearance. Once you get it in, though, flip up his crotch. Excuse me. Flip, flip down these little um, flap things here. I guess you could call them. Now you, and then you fold them up. Now with that done, as you can see, there are two little tabs here and here. Two little slots um, here and here. You can see them. And those two are going to connect to. So, uh, uh, I, can, I can't seem to get it. There we go. I got it. All right, and oh, I almost forgot this piece here behind his head. You can do anything you want with that. You can leave it up. You can leave it up, or you can fold it down. I fold it down because when I'm displaying him, he's like this. He ain't like this or this. So it's not really going to look stupid if it's front on. But here you have Starscream in his robot mode. In terms of a size comparison, here he is next to Movie One Bumblebee. Just to show you how these two scale up. Ha ha, I'm bigger. Well, I'm newer. Darn it! Thanks a lot, Starscream. Now he's gonna go cry in a corner. I'm a Decepticon, what do I care? True. It's a nice looking figure. In terms of articulation, his head will rotate all the way around, but it's a little stiff on mine. Arms will rotate all the way around. They go in and out. At this joint, they'll bend forward and back, so you can break his arm if you want. This, this section here is actually on a ball joint, so it can bend, it can rotate, stuff like that. You can also pivot the wrists if you really want to. There's nothing at the waist because of his crotch connection. <laughs> The hips are on a ball joint, so they can go forward pretty far, back pretty far. They can go in and out. And where these two joints are, where these two are jointed, you can do a lot of stuff with them. Really nice. And the toes actually have a bit of a bit of a pivot. And his actually though, as you can see, this is why you need to have the landing gear folded up because these actually become his heels for his robot mode. Now his head sculpt, I should get to. The head sculpt is really nice. It really does look like Starscream. There we go. It really does look like Starscream. It does have those blue accents on it that I really didn't think I would like when I first saw this figure. But now having it in hand, I can really say though that this is a really nice looking head sculpt for Starscream. So, straighten him out now. Alright, I had to fix my light. Now in terms of his accessories, you have, tossed one, <laughs> you got these. These are his, his weapons. Now you have his, um, his mech tech weapon here, when you flip it open, put this forward, you get this. This actually looks pretty nice. But you also have this. Got this blade, which has some nice looking detail on the blade itself. Also some Cybertronian symbols. Really cool. Now, Starscream, like all deluxes, his mech tech weapon doesn't lock in. But unlike others, it does. It actually does. On itself, by itself it doesn't, but when you add this in, it does. What you're going to want to do is fold it forward and just keep it folded out like this. Take this, and if you see, if you can see this, this little clip here, it's going to clip right on in, and here you go. His mech tech weapon actually will lock in. And it's the first deluxe I've seen that can actually do that. You can, of course, peg it in like this. And now Starscream's got a big old weapon on him, so he can slash to set an Autobot from behind him and in front of him. So let's just do a little skit here since I haven't done a single one in this one video. All right, ready? Go. Ya. Ha, gotcha. Oh, sorry, Bumblebee. Well, 
Well, at least I got them. Yeah, I haven't done one in this whole video. I'm trying to do that a little more often now. So that's honestly it for um, Dark of the Moon Starscream. If you want my honest opinion on this, well, actually, if you want me to lie about this figure, I'll tell you that he sucks and don't get him. If you want me to be honest about this figure, I'll tell you he's awesome, get him. Great looking vehicle mode. Great and fun transformation. Great looking robot mode. He's just an amazing looking figure and is a great alternative to Starscream if you don't already have the leader version or if you can't get the leader version, this is the one you have to pick up. Without a doubt. Especially the fact that he's probably one of the only deluxes that actually has that actually has a mech tech weapon that'll lock in and it makes this really nice looking blade weapon. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya!